everyone, this is your instructor Joy. Today we're going to talk about mid-tempo pieces, like this. Make sure you stay in tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One thing that could be helpful is don't overly um, use the bow too much or don't hold your bow too heavily. That way you can move on. So, for, for example, the beginning. When you use uh, two longer bows, already having a hard time to move on or stay within the tempo that can be danced with because Sicilian is supposed to be a dance uh, music as well. So try to keep the bow uh, moving without using too much bow or too heavy. But you do have to use a certain amount of bow. Now, as you have noticed, um, there's a lot of small strokes happening. So. <laughs> When you play those many little notes, make sure that that all the notes sound like they belong together. Meaning, so even though there are seven to twelve different notes, it cannot sound all individual if each note for, like this. <laughs> this is, it would be just a bunch of notes but no music. Make sure follow the lines, follow the phrases by connecting from one note to the next. That way it sounds like more connected and more beautiful with a line. And I'm going to talk about how to do that with the techniques. So now when you use such melodies, even though I'm changing my bows a lot, but I make sure that I don't have a necessary accent of each note by moving my finger joints, yeah, these ones. So of course, the bowings are made, majority of the bowings are led by your forearms, so you go first, but you move your forearm first and then your finger joints move right after. What it does, it smoothen from one bow to the next. It smoothen the bow changes. So first your forearm goes and then your finger move. And your forearm goes first and then your finger joints go along. So movements are like this or that one for a string cross. So see if you can do forearm first and then move your fingers. Forearm first. of nice beautiful detached sound on open string you should listen to your sound so that you don't have unnecessary accents on each bow strokes yeah and then once you're done then you can see if you can do with that left hand on your open strings Once you feel comfortable, then see if you can add the left hand. I like that. Um, later on, also, it shows 
um, some uh, fancy bow wings like this. Here, you can do whichever works for you. The choice of bow, bow stroke should be always whatever sounds beautiful, whatever expresses your musical ideas the best way. Not to show off for no reason. I mean, you're welcome to show off. But if you're busy showing off, but you're completely ignoring the musical lines, they will defeat the purpose. Either it is you're doing several off, or so do a couple separate balls so that you can emphasize. Then by doing slur. It gets diminuent naturally, which works well with a musical phrase as well. So, when you play um, mid tempo pieces, make sure you don't overly get slower, keep the pulse on, yeah, and then make sure the notes are nicely connected. Um, mid tempo pieces can be harder than fast pieces because you have to really be thinking of the tempo throughout the piece, otherwise, it just becomes one of these long pieces. Yeah? So I hope this video was helpful. Happy Valley playing. Bye!